This is Daily Reflections on Divine Mercy from My Catholic Life. Today's reflection is entitled, The Virus of Senseless Murmuring. One unfortunate tendency within our fallen nature is to murmur about another. It's like a virus in that once someone starts, it passes to others quickly. Before you know it, many can be spreading rumors and gossip not based in truth or truths not spoken in charity. This can be very painful to the person who the murmuring is about. We see this commonly among teens, but it is not exclusively a teenage phenomena. The two questions to ponder in this regard are, one, do I murmur about others? Two, how do I react when others murmur about me? First of all, the virus of murmuring will only be cured if people of integrity cease to speak unnecessary words or calumny or detraction. We have no right to spread errors about another, and we have no right to spread truths that do not need to be shared. Second, if you find yourself to be the object of the murmuring of others, it's understandable that this will hurt. Allow yourself to feel the hurt, unite it to the heart of our Lord, and then move on without returning to the mistreatment. A peaceful resolve to pay no attention to these actions helps to dispel their effects and it keeps us from being drawn into the foolishness. Ponder today both of these experiences. If you are the cause of senseless murmuring, then see the seriousness of this sin. It is a sin and a serious violation of charity as a result of the hurt it can cause confess it and resolve to silence your tongue. If you are the object of such murmuring, know that Jesus was first. Turn to him and allow him to console you and try to rejoice that you have been treated like our Lord. Let us pray. Lord, please guard my tongue and help me to speak only the words you wish me to speak and to only listen to those words inspired by you. If I am the object of hurt from another, give me the grace to receive healing and strength and to rejoice that I am treated like you. Jesus, I trust in you.